G'day, Anthony Wargate uh, with Fire and Rescue New South Wales. I'm the Chief Remote Pilot for our uh, RPAS section or our drone aviation section. We're down south of Batemans Bay at the moment with our RPAS units flying over the areas that have been hardest hit. So we're in their recovery phase at the moment and we're working with a lot of um, other agencies. So the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, local councils and uh, local governments that we're working with uh, getting rid of all the debris that you can see behind me. Senior firefighter Ailders from Bushfire Aviation Section. We're currently out at Rosedale North. Uh, Rosedale Estate and we're just doing some mapping missions with the RPAS to calculate some volumetric measuring for debris removal for the EPA. What we've done is uh, developed it to help us drill down and work out how much debris needs to be removed. At the moment, the RPAS is 90 metres in the air and it's just following along our pre-planned mission and taking photos every four seconds. And then we'll get those photos off the machine and Catherine will process those photos and stitch them together. We can set the drone to terrain following, especially in the hilly areas like this. When we set it at 90 metres, it follows the terrain and maintains that 90 metre height, irrespective of the contours in the land. So the last few days we've been concentrating on Rosedale itself and Malua Bay. Uh, they're the two areas and we'll be heading out to Duns Creek uh, this afternoon to have a look out at the rural properties out that way as well. So currently we're about halfway through the mission, so we've probably got about six minutes left. RPAS is just flying along taking its photos. And the reason we have our GIS analyst here, Catherine, and we hand all that imagery over to Catherine and then she starts her process of sending it up to the cloud, stitching the images and then processing all the images we take. My name's Catherine, I'm from Fire and Rescue Bushfire and Aviation. We're actually stitching the images together so we can start running our uh, volumetric calculations off the captured data. The volumetric calculations give us an estimate of uh, debris uh, and that's what the information we're trying to capture for EPA. We have a unique application where we're actually bringing together the airborne or aerial captured information together with the ground truth. So uh, we use that as a part of our uh, reporting and it's useful throughout the whole uh, recovery process because it's not just about the immediate, it's also about the long-term research that we can do about uh, building structures and how they respond to wildfire and how we can improve and hopefully uh, if this sort of event does happen again, we'll have uh, a better understanding of how um, buildings and materials react in, in these sort of conditions. Hi, I'm Tara Burden and I'm a senior firefighter at Alexandria um, in Sydney. Um, for the last month, I've been filling in with the aviation team. My role is ground truthing. Um, I'm identifying different materials and waste. Um, we use an iPad and it's um, for building assessments um, or what we know as rapid damage assessments. Um, with that, we take a photo of different areas of the house, um, different products, different cars, tractors, outhouses, foliages, damaging trees, things like that. So we can calculate how much debris there is, what type of debris it is, um, and how much landfill they need to place that uh, debris for recycles, re non-recyclables, that sort of thing. Some of the, the classifications in volumes that we need is like green waste, um, recoverable materials like iron, frames, bricks, concrete, trucks, motorcycles, um, caravans, we've got a bus here as well. Different building waste like just internal house products. Uh, asbestos is obviously a main concern. Any hazardous waste, any chemicals, any, especially on farming properties, rural properties, tend to have a lot of those things stored. Generators, batteries, um, LPG cylinders. Unfortunately, deceased animals come into play as well and um, cool rooms. That's the data that we're collecting here. We've got a two-pronged approach. So we use our RPAS or drones to get uh, the map the area first to see how big the, uh, the area is. Uh, we get planned photos of the drone flying over the top as well as we ground truth the area as well. So local crews, 
will work around with our app and take several photos of uh, front side back. Um, then we can actually put that into what the photo used to look like from our mapping software. We combine both together with the aerial photos and the ground truthing and the ground photos to give a report to those uh, local agencies that uh, need it. And this is to help uh, people get back to normality very quickly so we can clean the sites up so they can start building um, their houses and uh, getting their lives back together.